So first let's see what's on the top left corner here. You have your regular uh, file drop down with uh, where you can save your scene as, save a selection. Uh, so that's what you do to export uh, an animation. You can uh, merge uh, another scene in. So if you want to import uh, models or another character and you can uh, export animation as well. Regular edit, copy, paste, etc. And Motion Builder is actually very smart about uh, the copy and pasting options. So here, if I copy some keys, okay, and on the viewport, I uh, copy the the thigh. It's based on on where I'm gonna paste. So uh, if I go back to the, the timeline and I paste, I actually paste my keys. But if I stay in the viewport and I paste, I actually pasted the object uh, that I copied here. Right, same with the layers. If I copy here the layers and I paste, I um, I paste the layers, but I can always come back here on my base layer and paste those keys again. It remembers based on the context uh, what I copied. You have a animation uh, tab which is uh, to uh, plot your your keys. You can also do that here in the key controls. You see, you also have animation drop down here. Uh, you can go to settings. Um, so let's go actually in the preferences. So you have a, a lot of uh, uh, default settings that you can change. I recommend uh, coming to the undo section and make that number at least 100. It's going to save your, your life more than once. And uh, in the viewer, you can change the color of the grid, for example, so by default, the grid probably looks like this, which to me is a bit too bright. So in the settings, preferences, viewer, grid, you can change the color. Actually, the changes only take effect when you press OK. And you can also change the color of the center, if you want center color, if you want to make it brighter, for instance. You could offset the grid. I don't know why you would do that, but you can. You can extend the size. And the spacing. Uh, so the spacing is the number of centimeters between each uh, square. I prefer to do it like 50 centimeters, so I know like two squares are one meter. I, I find it easier. Here we go. So the grid goes far uh, farther than before and here when I press uh, control F for example I know that every square is 50 centimeters so this is one meter this is two meters two meters 50 in saving you can also change uh, and make the saving reminder uh, appear more more often you'll see a, a red uh, button here say saying save. I'm going to go ahead and close that and back in settings you also have interaction mode and this is the type of shortcut that you want to use. I personally use the Maya shortcuts uh, so when I give shortcuts uh, it's going to be based on that but you can also use uh, 3s Max shortcuts or motion builder shortcuts if you're used to it. And these shortcuts you can customize them but not directly in Motion Builder. There's no UI for this, unfortunately. You have to go into your Motion Builder install folder. So in my case, it's here. Motion Builder 2018. Bin. Config. And you have keyboard. So these are the ones that uh, are listed here. So I recommend actually uh, copy pasting them and, and keeping the original uh, text file in case you need but you can open that up with notepad and you have all the type of action available in the program and every time you you'll see uh, control or shift or alt or none so that's if you need to hold control or control shift or no key and then the actual key that you want to press and then either down or up. 
this is how you can uh, customize the, the keyboard shortcuts. And I will add uh, my own uh, custom shortcuts in the video description in case you want to use it, because I, I added a, a few options. And here you also have the layout drop down. So you have the default layouts uh, that comes with the program. And then you can make your, your custom layouts as well. I highly recommend uh, disabling the auto update layout because in case you, you accidentally uh, tear out a, a window and start messing with the UI, uh, you, don't want, you don't want it to auto save those changes uh, when they are accidental. Uh, this way I can come back to the editing. So actually you can create a custom and say, uh, name it, test layout. And now if I actually make changes, I can come here and say update current layout. Still on the top left here, uh, I have the, the Python tools here. So if you install some, some scripts, they will show up here. And here in window, um, you can add some extra uh, windows for any of the, the windows that we're gonna see in this tutorial. So you could add another uh, F-curve editor, for example, or another navigator.